Ya tamam hadi bir bizi kontrolü Bilal su Tamam zor Çocuk çıkırın ya Bir bir bizi dinlendirin Bir bizi dinlendirin Ben de şöyle gelmişimize kontrol Kim? 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 ตอนนั้นตอนนี้ดูอยู่มาเลยโซโซทอมเมตตอนตอนนั้นคอมเมตตอนตอนนั้นดูอยู่มาเลยเสียดิจิงแกมเนี่ยอันนี้งานนั้
Jesus, Deba Maiba, Mamuji, Zabunana, Jito Talantara, and you say, Sesha Robertan, the two children, you don't want to say, Yes, and you be still. Sandy Sandy, あの、ティジャジ、ティジャラ、あの、ティバサンラ、ティジャティピシュニ、ティバサンラ。Distrupt Ilusunde Number Global Alliance for Tibet and Pacific Minority, which is a good teacher, he told the game KTV, he himself to be busy now or Java teacher, but then under the way he made up for a tongue silver, he got two to go meva, Kanaki, narrated the shoot table yoga, and there to number to do shedding here, says that Tarigi, Nedu Tabana, Malatum, Shaki, Hagela. Portfolio head of audiences and digital BBC Portland Place in London. Yeah. It's around the evening, 16th April 2023. Yes, sir. We are writing to draw your kind attention that the Tibetan community has been deeply hurt by the BBC's recent coverage vis-a-vis -vis His Holiness the Dalai Lama and his genuine compassionate greeting and interaction with an Indian student. As a world-class public funded media broadcasting house, we were deeply dismayed that the BBC would give so much heat to a few seconds of 
ill intentioned doctored viral footage clearly masterminded by CCP agents with the object of defaming our spiritual leader, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. We would have expected that in being a respected world-class media house, the BBC would have proactively engaged in ensuring a credible, clear-sighted and serious investigative journalistic piece rather than running the story in the same manner of a sensationalist wildfire as the rest of the tabloid media did. As you will know, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, a Nobel Peace Laureate, is not only fond of the BBC, but significantly he highly respects and values it for its authenticity, quality, and commitment to the truth. Even though repercussions from the recent coverage are yet to be fully known, it is evident that for Tibetans, aware of the playful and benign nature of His Holiness, that the BBC's coverage and furtherance of such clear disinformation has been perceived as a collective betrayal and stab to our hearts. We therefore urge the BBC to kindly consider following recommendations. Number one, to highlight and provide genuine coverage on His Holiness the Dalai Lama and his commitment to peace and the promotion of human values such as compassion, forgiveness, tolerance, contentment and self-discipline. Number two, to provide coverage and highlight the nearly one million Tibetan children in Tibet who from the age of four to 18 are being forced into China's colonial boarding schools with the core objective of annihilating Tibetan identity, language and culture. Number three, to provide airtime and broadcast content across the BBC network as part of your diversity and inclusion strategy that educate the public about Tibetan history and culture. Number four, to provide airtime and to publish content about China's ongoing illegal occupation of Tibet, disinformation and the brutal regime's gross violations of human rights. Finally, we kindly request a meeting at the earliest to ensure the voices of Tibetans are heard and shared in a fair and balanced manner. We believe that the truth is of utmost importance and that our simple request will add great value to the BBC also. We thank you for your kind consideration regarding the concerns and great pain being experienced by our community as a result of the BBC's coverage. We look forward to hearing from you. Your sincerely trained Pasang, Talatin and Pinto Nubu. ยิชซาดูสเกเกนะซุมชีนาโลเลยาคาสูเรเอ่อทีโซทุนโดนาลซูโรรูจีเจกันดาสเตทเมนต์เตยเนเนดันดิโตลาดีอารินาเยเดท
Included in the statement is a link to video footage of the child and his mother being interviewed about their experience after the event. We stand to wait the Dalai Lama. We are Tibetan leaders and activists writing to address the media storm surrounding His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Language, culture and context define how people view any given situation. For Tibetans who see the video clip of the Dalai Lama's interaction with a child at a public event in February, it is clear he is displaying his affection, warmth and humor. It is through a lifetime of familiarity with the Dalai Lama that we understand his words and actions. For some people who don't know the Tibetan context, and especially because so many children suffer serious abuse at the hands of the powerful people and religious institutions, the belief and assumption is that the act was malign and the child was harmed. We can say with absolute certainty that this is not what happened. It is instructive to hear what the child and his family have said about their time with the Dalai Lama. The mother seen sitting on stage next to the Dalai Lama and the child both gave media interviews immediately after the event. While we know this won't satisfy everyone with concerns, we hope their words, their own words will help add some context and clarity to the question of how they feel about what happened. What has been most painful for Tibetans and our allies is witnessing the rush to condemn the Dalai Lama. Any attempt to understand Tibetan culture, the full context of exchange and this nearly 90 year old icon of global peace has been shockingly absent from most media coverage and online discourse. The Dalai Lama has lived nearly all his life in the public eye. He has engaged directly with countless thousands of people across the globe. And his life is remarkably unmarred by scandal or controversy, marked to the charming of China's leadership. On the contrary, he has done what few leaders of his stature do. He has welcomed and embraced change. He has willingly given up his political power. He has campaigned for religious harmony. He's, he has forgiven and seeks compromise with the Ch same Chinese leaders destroying Tibet. As movement leaders and activists, we are not surprised to see a massive operation by the Chinese government operatives and trolls working to drive and amplify this story, maximizing views and outrage in order to distort reality. Their aim is to destroy Their aim is to destroy the reputation of the Dalai Lama and the movement for Tibetan freedom. There is no secret to Dalai Lama. He is who we know him to be, an 87-year-old Buddhist monk who has devoted his life to teaching, practicing, and meditating on wisdom and compassion for the world. We are immensely proud of his legacy of selfless sacrifice to humanity, and we stand by him at this distressing time. Tibetans and Tibet need us to stay focused on exposing the reality of China's genocidal colonial occupation of our country. Tibet is one of the least free places on earth. China has forced and coerced one million Tibetan children into colonial boarding schools, millions of nomads off their grasslands has terrorized countless people for having the Dalai Lama's photo and praying for his long life. We will keep focus on fighting for Tibet's freedom, 
and we will never give up. Long live His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Long live Tibet. So for more information, uh, please visit TibetAction.net. Uh, thank you very much. Additional Hadi, zungu şudu.